Skillful and exciting battle as West Ham faced Bolton Wanderers in our main match. Holland supporting him well. Lada getting it back to Holland. Played it first time. Oh my goodness. All right, let's make a start with West Ham against Bolton Wanderers. And for West Ham, the season really has started to blossom. Well up towards the top of the second division, still in the League Cup, and fresh from a stirring 4-0 victory last Wednesday in the European Cup Winners' Cup. It was certainly no hardship going to Upton Park today with its old-time friendly atmosphere. Well, it's a good week to be coming to West Ham. The crowd are singing their famous bubble song. And indeed, it's a buoyant and bubbling crowd here today after that European victory in midweek over the Romanians. And there is good cause for optimism about the place. And indeed, what a reception then as the West Ham team come out. So the West Ham team today, they're without fullback Frank Lampard, who's injured. Paul Brush takes his place. And Paul Allen, recovered from a groin injury, is the sub. Still no Trevor Brooking, and West Ham expect it'll be at least another fortnight before he's fit again. Meanwhile, Bolton Wanderers, who also had a win in midweek against Preston, they field an unchanged side, and it's got plenty of experience to it. Brian Kidd and Alan Gowling in particular, and Len Cantello as well, and he passed a test on an ankle injury this morning. Supporting him well. Lada getting it back to Holland. Played it first time. Oh my goodness. What a lovely move and uh, quite a fat cross was right in there. And Jones was so close to putting it into his own net. But what a beautiful one to here. Goddard on for Holland and played in first time quickly. And Jones so near to putting it into his own goal. And Devonshire again with the corner. Billy Bonds played wide again for Devonshire. Crossed in once more. Neighbour lining this one up, but Cross and back it hit David Cross. Martin, Bolton almost in a state of siege in their own county area, and uh, still they can't get it away. Martin doing his best to get the cross in again, and Cantelo in the end forced to consider the corner. Good spell for West Ham, but still no goals about 18 minutes gone. Jimmy Neighbour with the corner for them. Brush nodding it on. Devonshire. And out cross. Charge down again. Here's Cantillo. And in the end, uh, I think they're quite grateful to get that back into the arms of Terry Poole. Cross, but he was offside, and a save by Paul, putting it behind for the corner. And West Ham are absolutely rampant, and Bolton at the moment is staggering. Being pinned back the whole time. Good save there by Terry Poole. Pike, now in full about coming, but felt that Devonshire was lurking there. And Devonshire's got inside them, and again it's saved. made tremendous strides there but again Terry Poole was equal to it Devonshire inside this time for Brush another good spell by West Ham and Gowling going back there to try and stop him but West Ham get the corner of uh, Mike Graham so Devonshire again with the corner for West Ham deeper one this time Flicking it in for Pike. Oh, tremendous goal by Pike. Well, he's in tight. 
entitled to be exhilarated by that one. He's hit some spanking shots this season, but and he hit one in fact that led to a goal against the Romanians on Wednesday night. That was a goal out of the top draw. Neighbour playing it in, Pike at full belt, full at full stretch. Attacking position there once again as Devonshire takes the corner again for West Ham. Aimed towards Alvin Martin, and in fact it might be David Cross, just wide of the post. In fact, Alan Gowling claiming an offside there. So he might well have been, in fact. Corner already taken as Graham knocks it in there. It was Pat Holland who got his head to that one. Cross trying to do the same. Peter Reid going right in there. Playing it wide there for Neil Watmore. Great save. Reid and another good save. Well, a double barrel shot got effort there from Bolton Wanderers, first from Watmore and then from Reid. And on both occasions, Phil Parks kept his goal intact. Not conceding the goal in five games, but this looked as though it might be the moment. Superb save there. And when Peter Reid puts it back again, Phil Parks is equal to it again. And Cantello again with this corner. Oh, he didn't really get that one. And it's been put into the back of the net by Kidd. Four Bolton Wanderers. Well, it's taken a long time for West Ham to concede a goal. Previously, it had been five games without conceding one. And now Kidd has done the trick that others couldn't do. Here we are. No doubt about it, another enjoyable game. And it's worth saying what a good advertisement it was, not only for the second division, but for the game as a whole. The Bolton manager, Stan Anderson, paid tribute to West Ham. They looked such a confident side, he said, and we didn't. And the referee, Alf Gray, weighed in by saying what a pleasure it was to be in charge. He said, incidentally, that the first foul in the game didn't actually happen until after 16 minutes. That's quite amazing. One other statistic you might be interested in, there were 30 corners in the game, that's unusual to say the least, 22 to West Ham and 8 to Bolton, further evidence of West Ham's dominance. Even so, West Ham were annoyed, or at least their goalkeeper Phil Parks was, uh, by the goal that broke their record of clean sheets. Uh, Phil thought he was fouled as this corner came in, but my feeling is the referee was right, that Phil didn't jump with his usual conviction, it looks a very good clean jump there by Paul Jones, the Bolton defender, and Brian Kidd joyfully finishing off a very fair goal. But what about Jeff Pike's goal? Was there an element of offside about it? I think the referee felt there might have been, but he told me afterwards that uh, he felt that nobody was interfering with play. Here's Neighbour bringing the ball inside. Lovely ball into the path there of Jeff Pike. And as he hits it, is Paul Garnard level with the last defender there? It certainly looks as though it may have been, but the referee said the player was not interfering, although he may have been in line with the goalkeeper there. An element of doubt, except, of course, that it was a really beautiful goal.